it's Sabrina. Welcome back. I am so excited to tell you that I have finished my This Is Me project. A combination between Heba's Me, Myself, and I and Kelly Winnell's Self Love. Mind you, Heba did hers in uh, January and Kelly did hers in February. I took about two months to finish mine, so it spans from February all the way to now, which is almost the end of April, but that's okay. I hope you have enjoyed seeing the process videos as I've put this album together. It is definitely a favorite project, maybe of all time. I absolutely love it and I had a blast putting it together. So I open up with this page to make a title page. So this is me and then I did some clusters. I use these flowers throughout. They're a very simple flower to fussy cut and print and then fussy cut and crumple it up. I also used a lot of Everyday Explorers throughout this album just for some consistency and because I love Everyday Explorers stamps. So this one I started off with a lot of Feed Your Craft over here in their new um, collection. I just talked about life right now and introducing myself and then there's a little flip pocket right there and you just kind of tuck it. And then I did a little rainbow back and forth of also some more prompts about life right now. And then I turn it and this one was comfy and cozy. So I found this photo that I hadn't documented. So I just documented it, included talking about homebody and how I've always been a homebody. This one is music and friends. I make a playlist every month on Spotify. So I just took screenshots of January and February. And then I collected some friends photos and just made a collage. Five is Good Eats, and I came up with a really clever way to include my journaling because I ran out of space. So it just flips up like this. And then I just used some washi tape. I talked about how I'm not a morning person for number six. Number seven is February favorites. And then eight is what I missed. This was a really hard one to do, kind of emotional. And I included some journaling in here. And I actually found the perfect wood veneer, so it was awesome. Perfect wood veneer. This one is nine, and I documented TV shows, but I focused on this show because this show was incredible and so good, right? So I uh, put this one bigger and then made a collage for this one. Making a collage also works because a lot of the time when you find like a movie poster or TV show poster or even a book cover, it's a very small resolution. So doing a collage just makes it a lot easier to um, get the photos in there and then make a three by four or a four by six. Documented my outfits for one whole week and then just decided which ones that I will use. And I went with neutrals, brown and black to um, decorate and this is one of my favorite spreads in here. I used a mix of Feed Your Craft stamps and Everyday Explorers um, stamps. So I just put a little stamp prompt for each of these and then I just journaled about how this is how I dress basically and then did a bunch of weekly stamping right there. Then I did some top apps that I use like I just basically took five minutes to find an image online and of the apps that popped into my head and these were the ones. Um, and then I just talked about Instagram and social media and I had some really old color cast design pieces to use as well. And this is for 11. 12 was a feature so I went with freckles, bumped up the saturation and then did kind of like old style old style um, and cut out the photo and then I could make a cluster of dots and greenery around my picture. This one is green. I absolutely love green. Green's my favorite color. Always has been and probably always will be. So I just did a lot of greenery stamping and then I did Carrie Bradford for the title for both of these. 14 is happy. Once again, just took a few moments to think about currently what was making me happy. And I used one of the Morgan Harper Nicholas free screenshots that she gives out every day on Instagram. Amazing. And I love them. And I have so many of them. So 15 is guilty pleasure. And I did my go girl, my 
bad habit, my vice, and I probably won't give it up anytime soon. 16 is just um, what makes me upset, and it was just watching uh, Dear Lizzie's stories um, about her husband. It's really heartbreaking. Uh, 17 is fall, and I just found um, some old photos. A lot of this project involved old photos that hadn't been used and instead of printing new ones. 18, I did family and I did a colorful um, floral, like almost frame for my photo. And then I just added in two acrylic pieces. This one, I cut the prompt really small and then um, I decided to just work with it and then realized afterwards I could have just put some white paper over this and I wouldn't have had to deal with this, but that's okay. Things you learn. So this was the um, a newer kit from Feature Craft as well and I had the digital, so I used the digital to talk about bad habits. 20 is Night Owl. Since I'm not a morning person, I kind of talked about why, or I just made it obvious why I am not a morning person. I stay up way too late reading, and that's okay with me. Uh, 21 was Celebrate Me. Got this idea from a scrapbooker, Lorelai, to ask her friends, so that's what I did. Then 22 is Hobby, and so, of course, I went with scrapbooking. It's my favorite hobby. And then favorite exercise is cycling. And again, somehow I wound up with green and that's okay, I love green. Okay, so after this, um, this is where things got a little goofed up. I have to still fix it, it's just gonna take some time. But I accidentally, when I did this one, I accidentally got so excited that I had chip, a chipboard white 23 that I put it down, not realizing this is 23. So I'm gonna have to go back through this entire thing and renumber everything, but that's a project for another day. I still wanted to show you guys the album. So this is 24, um, Hope, and I just did a rainbow of hope. 25 sets of three, and this one was on Kelly's list, and I didn't really understand what sets of three was, but I decided to make it my own, and I went with the prompts from Everyday Explorers, and I just journaled three that popped into my head for the different prompts, like Midnight Snack, This Gives Me Energy, Can't Stand This, Thankful for, for This. And 26 is more and less. So I found, again, photos I hadn't used, and they kind of represent more. And then less, I just uh, journaled more and less, whatever popped into my head. 27 is Love Story. My husband and I, uh, once again, an old photo, but this one I printed a newer photo. 28 is inspiring. I find nature to be inspiring, and I found a quote that I really loved, so I included that. This is a newer project from Kelly Stamps, and I did favorite treat, and I did a photo shoot with my favorite candy. I have a really bad sweet tooth, and <laughs> that's okay with me. 30 is my kids, and I went with primary colors. 31 is my hairstyle, also a newer Kelly Stamps project, and I can link it up in the eye for you guys to see. Something got stuck here, so it got ripped. And then 32 is personality. I didn't really know exactly what this meant, but what came to mind for me was those tests that you do, the Myers-Briggs, test and then also your astrological sign. So I just found some quotes for that and then Gemini quotes and then just made like a grid and then did purple and black. Then since this book took so long, I did March faves and April faves. And I just printed a photo for March faves and then April faves. This one was cut out with my cameo and then I just put some greenery in the background and some wood veneer. Called it done, and that's my album. So like I said, I just gotta fix some of the numbers and then it'll be done. But I was so excited, I couldn't wait to show you. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for coming along with me on this journey making this This Is Me project. I hope everybody has a great day and I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much, have a great day.